So kind of coming over here and reading about what happens in traumatic brain injury. This is us just kind of hanging out. It's bedtime. But why not do a little bit of information about traumatic brain injury and ischemia tonight? <laughs> well, we know that when there's cerebral edema, meaning you've had some sort of head injury that creates fluid or stasis, uh, that we end up getting vasogenic edema that can then go into the skull and the surrounding brain matter and put pressure on it, which can create intracranial pressure. And one of the best ways you can see this is through a spinal tap and the exiting pressure, or you can look in the eyes and the people have coning in their eyes, or they have papal edema. Of course, there's also cytotoxic edema as well, which brings in neutrophils, and inflammatory byproducts, it causes excitotoxicity and cellular damage at a significant level. Now, internalized or reduced GABA receptors is a, a terrible thing because now we don't have anything to slow down the glutamatergic process. So we go through the immuno-excito-linked process of cells going beyond their cellular capacity threshold and then dying off. And that, of course, goes into what we see right here, which is the excitotoxic cascade. And this excitotoxic cascade creates cells spontaneously firing and dying and going beyond their metabolic capacity, mainly because of NMDA receptors becoming leaky, calcium coming in, creating peroxynitration and cells dying, and of course that leading to free radical production and lipid peroxidation. All of that which uncouples the mitochondria and makes it to where we don't have energy. And then caspases are released and they turn into apoptosomes. So we get apoptosis, and we get a cascade along with that that I just talked about. Now, when all of those inflammatory responses get released and everything's out into the environment of the cellular uh, systems, a lot of these uh, pro-inflammatory substances that are released, they get into the central nervous system and they activate uh, oligodendritic progenitor cells or the actual myelin itself of the central nervous system. So we get demyelination and this is what leads to that patchy white matter disease that you see on MRIs. So when all of these inflammatory cytokines are let loose and whenever receptor activation goes down and we get the edema and all of the internalization of receptors, in the entire metabolic cascade, all the way around to free radical damage and death, that, ladies and gentlemen, is TBI ischemia. <laughs>